For optimal performance and proper functionality of your stepper motor linear actuator, or SMLA, proper installation should be conducted. Although all three SMLA configurations differ slightly in construction, similar mounting and installation practices should be followed. To learn more about the differences between these three configurations, watch our video, Stepper Motor Linear Actuator Assembly Configurations, on the Thompson website. To install a motorized lead screw or MLS, the motor should be mounted on a flat surface that is perpendicular to the axis of motion. Although in certain situations it is not required, it is recommended to support the free end of the lead screw with a mounted bearing or bushing. Finally, the lead nut should be mounted to a fully supported and guided carriage, such as the Thompson profile rail shown here. After ensuring all mounting components are properly aligned and there is no excessive resistance or binding across the entire length of the screw, all fasteners can be securely tightened down. Installation is now complete and the product is ready for you to utilize in your system. Installation of a motorized lead nut, or MLN, is similar to an MLS. However, instead of mounting the nut on the carriage, the screw is mounted, since this is the element with linear motion. If the side and moment loads of your application are reasonable, a motorized lead screw actuator, or MLA, will have the easiest installation process of the three configurations. After mounting the motor, simply mount the carriage to the end of the MLA's extension tube. No external guidance or supports are required to achieve linear motion. To learn more about Thompson's stepper motor linear actuators, visit thompsonlinear.com or contact our experienced customer support team.